Do you ever find that you are having the same disagreement or the same frustrating argument with someone in your life? Whether it be a spouse, a partner, a coworker. This is Jacqueline Foster here of Feeling Good TV and today I want to talk about this. I want to talk about these repeating frustrations and aggravations that happen with someone in our life and what we can do to change that, what we can do to move out of that frustrating and aggravating pattern. So. Usually what happens when there's a frustration, it means that there is a need that we have in our lives that is not being met. Maybe it's a need for connection, for appreciation, for playfulness, for adventure, for intimacy. There are a number of needs. And if you're hearing me say this and you're thinking, ah, I don't even know what my needs are, I recommend that you look up on, on Google a list of needs and you can get a list and even just take a look at it and begin to explore and see what you connect with, see with what needs resonate with you. But, so the first thing you need to do is identify what needs that you have that aren't being met. Now, typically, our first reaction would be then to say, okay, my need for intimacy is not being met, so I'm going to talk to my partner and tell them that we need to change this, that they need to change this. And I'm guilty of this too. And actually, this week, a friend helped me realize that I was doing just this. And I want to share this extra step that she reminded me of today, and that is this, that when we get frustrated with someone else in our lives and a certain need is not being met, what's really important that we do is take a moment to ask ourselves, are we even meeting that need within ourselves, with that relationship, with ourselves? For example, this week, one of the things I noticed was feeling that I wasn't being appreciated, feeling like I wasn't getting appreciation from other people in my life. And through this reminder from my friend, it really helped me realize I had to think, am I even cultivating a relationship of appreciation within myself? not just for what I do, but for who I am and the way I contribute just by being myself. And her asking me that really helped me realize that I was not in a space of appreciation with myself. And it really encouraged me to slow down and to begin to ask myself first how I can cultivate more of that appreciation within myself. Okay, so how can you do this for you? I'm going to give you three quick steps that you can do to really reflect upon this and add this in your own life. So the first thing is what I mentioned before. Find out what is that repeating, repeating frustration that you have and ask yourself from that, what need is not being met right now? What need that you have is not being met by that person? Get a list if you need, look that up, Google that up so you can have a list and just get an idea of what that specific need is. The next thing you want to do is really get honest with yourself and ask yourself whether it be that need for connection, for intimacy, for playfulness, ask yourself if you are meeting that need with yourself, within yourself, okay? and be really, really honest with yourself. And if you're getting a no that you are not getting that need met, which I believe in most cases that's going to be the case, that you're not meeting that need for yourself in this moment. If that's the case, take it to number three, step number three, and begin to take some time to slow down and ask yourself, how can you meet this need within yourself? 
So if, if it is appreciation, like for me, how can you begin to acknowledge all of the ways that your body serves you just by you being alive and appreciating all of the natural, authentic gifts that you have as a person? Not even necessarily as what you're doing, because if you're anything like me, it can get really easy to get caught up in the doing, 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 and only recognizing what you do instead of actually who you are. So for me, that's a biggie, actually coming back to appreciating who I am and not just the to-do list and what I'm getting done. So begin to explore that within yourself and cultivate meeting that need within yourself. So those are the three steps that I recommend that you run through to explore this. And then take it from there. Notice if that charge in that intimate relationship that you have or that relationship you notice these patterns are repeating. See if that continues. See if there's any shift in you, in that relationship or in that disagreement. I would also love to know as well, what do you do to get your needs met? What do you do when you notice that there's something in your life in an area with another person or with yourself that is not being met? What do you do to come back to that and to get those needs met? Also, if you enjoy this video, come on over to JacquelineLaceyFoster.com where you can sign up to get these weekly video blogs in your inbox every week. And if you enjoy this video as well, you can come over to hertube.tv where my show is as well. Wishing you an amazing day and looking forward to sharing more next time. Thanks so much.